What is up guys? I just wanted to Midwest Raider coming at you with another video, kind of a DJ tech item. I told you I picked up these Sonart uh, 2000 watt speakers not too long ago and I really wanted to do a little experiment uh, with them. They sound pretty good uh, straight from you know the factory that you get them, uh, but I kind of wanted to do a little experiment and maybe change uh, one of the 6x5s uh, and take it from a full range, which you, this is the speaker that comes out of it. Just a pretty plain Jane, full range, 6.5. Uh, I would call this just like a door speaker. <clears throat> and I actually wanted to replace it with a actual uh, 6.5 woofer with a little bit more magnet. Uh, this is more of kind of, you would call it a subwoofer. Uh, it's still a 6.5, so you're not gonna get a ton of bass out of this, but you might get a little bit more than the standard. And you can tell that the, the magnet is totally bigger. Uh, this is from Goldwood. <clears throat> and this is a 20 ounce magnet, eight ohms. This is also eight ohms. So it's all the same. <clears throat> um, but this is definitely uh, a, an improvement. Now, I didn't want to replace all of them, but I just wanted to replace one. <clears throat> Uh, with this just to see if you could add a little bit bass because they do have ports on these speakers and uh, Just to see what happens So I thought I'd be a little clever scientist in this one and, and see if we could improve these Sonart uh, alleged 2000 watt um, PA uh, Speakers and like I said, they're they're pretty good as they are. They're actually very very good for um, announcements and um, <clears throat> most types of music they just get a little bit little a little etchy uh, at very very high levels uh, a little bit distort from the power horn um, but other than that they're actually pretty good for what you get you can get two of them for under two hundred dollars which is a crazy deal um, one is powered one is passive and so i like i said i bought two of these uh, i got these for about 30 bucks a piece actually from walmart.com uh, their replacement subwoofers for 6.5. Uh, these are Goldwood, 20 ounce, 8 ounce uh, magnet, like I said. And you could even buy packages for like $70 that had, you know, six speakers in it or eight speakers in it. You can buy different packages, um, but most of them were under $100 for like that many speakers. <clears throat> so you could actually replace all these. Now, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I would still keep, you know, you still want full range speakers in there. But I just thought, what if? you add a different speaker in there, um, a more uh, subwoofer type speaker in there just to add maybe a little hair of mid bass uh, and maybe what you could call a little bit actual bass um, and see what happens. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and try and do. I already have installed one. Um, so this is gonna be for the other speaker and I kind of just wanted to show you what they look like. Like I said, these are, these actually doesn't look like a very bad speaker. So you're actually getting a little bit of a, you know, this looks like a basic stock car door speaker. Um, but uh, it's not like the cheapest thing I've ever seen. I've seen some really cheap speakers and uh, it actually looks pretty good. So, uh, you know, for, for the price that you pay for these, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised with the quality that you get uh, for what you get for under $200. So. Uh, like I said, that's what they look like taken apart. And you can already see that, of course, the bottom one looks a little bit different. It fit at 6.5 uh, speaker fit in there perfectly. Uh, screw holes matched up. Um, and, you know, it's all, it's all good to go. It's all hooked up, ready to go, ready to test. I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm not going to give you a sound test, but I'm going to listen myself and then I'll let you guys know um, how it all turns out. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of make this video for a little fun uh, thing because uh, I was interested myself and I thought uh, you guys would probably be too so uh, I'll let you know how it turns out I might give you a sound test uh, it'll be really brief but uh, uh, we'll find out so I haven't got to test it myself so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll bring come back to you guys uh, but like I said it was very easy to do I basically just took uh, four screws out of this uh, clipped the wires uh, made sure I connected positive and negative correctly um, like I said, if, if this type of stuff scares you, don't do it. But, um, you know, I'm kind of crafty uh, when it comes to like uh, home audio and 
uh, car audio. I've been doing it my whole life. Uh, so, you know, I definitely kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. So <clears throat> I was able to do this. It's pretty easy. Uh, but like I said, if you're, uh, you definitely don't want to cross any wires or do anything like that. You could damage the amp components inside. Uh, already I could be messing with the amp components already, even though it's the same ohm speaker and they should be around the same wattage. Uh, so everything should be really, really close. <clears throat> I think the subwoofer that I, the, the woofer that I just put in there is a 90 watt RMS. And these don't have anything on them, so I can't tell you what uh, RMS level these are. Yeah, they absolutely don't have anything on them at all. Uh, but because of the, the wattage rating on the actual speaker, they have to be pretty, pretty close. So I'm pretty excited to, to check it out. So I'm going to like I said, pause the video and I'll come back maybe with a sound test and just let you know how I think and you know if it was worth it or not. All right. I just wanted to show you really quick how easy this is. Uh, this is the second speaker that I'm doing. I already took uh, five screws out. I'm gonna take the last screw out. I got the last screw out and then this screen just pops up and you, should, you can just pull it right out, okay guys? <clears throat> This the speaker that the last speaker that I'm gonna take out only has four screws in it. Kind of be careful. We don't want to stab those. <clears throat> Make sure you save everything. And then you'll be able to just grab the edge and you'll be able to pull this speaker out. And you can see that it's color coded here uh, to let you know we got a, a red and a blue there. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip those and reconnect them and I'll bring you back in a second. So what's up guys, I wanted to bring you back really quick. So I clipped the wires, but I just wanted to show you that I clipped them with a little bit of extra, just in case you guys wanna put these back in. You can just splice these and then put your wires back together and you'll be able to put it back just like as it was. Um, so you don't have to, or you can you can literally take this out and resolder everything, uh, depending to you what you want to do. But uh, this is easier for me, so I would just get uh, <clears throat> little clips and I could just clip the wires back together, and you would be good to go. Once again, I took this speaker out. It has a red and a blue. One is positive, one is negative, and I'm just going to hook up the new speaker. And then, I, like I said, I'll tell you how it sounds, guys. So I'll be right back. And then you basically you just put the four speaker four screws back in. Put your screen back in and you're good to go so i just thought i'd bring you that quick little information just to show you uh, you can actually see the components in here and they actually look pretty well put in there and there's actually some foam and insulation on the side which i'm actually surprised too like i said these speakers are a little bit better built than i anticipated myself for what you're going to get i think like i said you get two of them for 190 dollars so uh, pretty pretty surprised on the build quality on the inside of these sonarts uh, as well so it's pretty cool guys so uh, i just thought i'd bring you all these little extra tidbits uh on these sonart uh, pa speakers tower speakers so putting this last speaker in and we'll see what happens What's up guys, so I'm back with these Sonart speakers that I've done a little adjusting to. Uh, you can see I left two of the two range, uh, full range speakers in, and then I added a woofer, uh, a 6.5 uh, woofer uh, that I added. And I just wanna show you guys the difference. Now before these things, they have ports, but the ports didn't really do anything because it wasn't really pushing any bass. It was pushing mid bass. Um, did I add bass? I think I did. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I just want you to watch these things. Uh, it's not really going to be a sound test, but you're going to be able to see the difference between the 6.5. And I'm just going to play a little sound test. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm going to make these real quick clips. But uh, what is up, guys? It's Midwest Raider coming at you with the finale of my video. Overall, I wanted to uh, just thank you for guys tuning in and also warn you, if you guys are interested in doing this, do this at your own skill level and at your own risk. Changing components in your speaker could affect your amp, could affect components in the speaker, especially if you don't connect wires right, positive and negative, that kind of thing. 
Um, so this could all affect your speaker and you could blow your speaker, you could damage your speaker. So do this at your own risk, at your own skill level. And like I said, I wanted to do this with my speaker um, at my own risk. So you guys do this at your own risk too. I'm not recommending you do this, but if you do, I'm just trying to help uh, in case you guys wanna try it. So do this at your own risk. I'm not recommending it, um, but you know, do this at your own risk. I can't stress that enough. And be safe. Make sure these are unplugged when you're doing all this. Make sure you're connecting that positive and negative right uh, on the back of the speaker, which it will show you on the back of the speaker. You can see that there's a positive there and a negative there in the colors here. That's why I clipped these long. That way you can look at the colors too and match them up to your new speakers that you put in there. So just a little information and tips to try to help you guys if you decide to do this. Uh, like I said, do it at your own risk. I'm not recommending this. You could blow your speakers, you could affect your speakers, and I am not responsible for anything that you guys do. I'm just trying to uh, let you know if you guys do it, a little information on how to do it. Um, I did it with my speakers, and like I said, I could blow them. The amp might not be able to take, you know, with the woofer in there so all, all kinds of things could be affected but i'm doing it at my own risk with my speakers um, so there's my warning to you guys but did i overall achieve what i was trying to do yes i did these things have bass they push air and that subwoofer works as it's supposed to which is very very cool and surprising um, so it's very very cool <clears throat> uh, i put mine at the bottom but i could also uh, say that if you put it in the middle that might be a good idea too because you got the ports on both sides i put mine at the bottom because i wanted to use the whole box um, as you know an air to have a lot of box a lot of air uh, flowage for that subwoofer to work a little bit that's just my opinion uh, my thoughts on it but somebody could try putting it in the middle and see what they think <clears throat> but like i said this is all just experimental and you know suggestions but it did work for me i do like having them on the bottom i'm probably gonna leave them like that and you know it was super fun to do uh, i did overall put actual bass guys not just mid bass actual bass and uh, you can actually hear it uh, it's not you know club bass or you know anything spectacular guys and i'm not trying to say that i'm just saying that i actually added bass to these speakers which they didn't have before they just had treble and mid bass and they're very very good for announcements uh, they're very loud um, even at high high level uh, they do distort a little bit and that power horn is kind of abrasive to your ear so you want to keep them down just a little bit under the max level and they, you know they sound pretty good now with that subwoofer they actually play music pretty well as well um, but i still recommend running a actual subwoofer with these as well that'll give you the best sound that you can have if you add a subwoofer but they actually sound pretty decent with music now because um, they actually have bass which they didn't have before so pretty pretty impressive um, so did i accomplish my task yes i did like i said do it at your own risk if you're interested in doing this and I try if you guys have any questions or anything I'll put links on what I purchased the actual speakers the Sonarts you can purchase for about hundred ninety dollars and the extra speakers uh, you could put at about fifty dollars so it wasn't a very very crazy expensive upgrade uh, I would only suggest putting one uh, some people are gonna go crazy and want to put like I don't know two or even all three uh, you're definitely that's definitely not gonna work um, yeah, you could definitely damage your speaker um, so I would only suggest putting one actual subwoofer in there if you were going to try this I wouldn't put I wouldn't put two uh, I think you would just you run your amp a little too crazy on that so that's just my opinions and my thoughts you guys can do whatever you would like but I would suggest not doing that I would only put one actual bigger speaker in there um, then you can run less chance of damaging that amp uh, depending on you know what's going on in there okay guys so that's my opinion on that um, other than that i really like the way they sound now it did improve the bass they do have bass tones now and uh, 
I'm actually pretty surprised. It just brings a smile to my face because it actually worked and it was fun to do, guys. So, like I said, these are the Sonart PA uh, system, tower speakers, I think they're called. And uh, I do have a full review that I did before, if you guys want to check that out on them. $190 plus another $50 to add these uh, 6.5-inch woofers in there, 20-ounce uh, uh, magnet, still 8 ohms, about 90 watts RMS <coughs> along, and these are 200-watt RMS speakers. So super excited to bring it to you. It was a fun little experiment. DJ Martini Midwest, Midwest Raider. Uh, right here on YouTube and DJ Martini Services on Facebook. If you guys are interested in more DJ videos, please like and subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more you guys share, the better and easier it'll be to make more videos for you guys and you know keep providing equipment to bring to you guys. This has been a quick experiment. I hope I gave enough information. If you guys have any questions uh, or feedback or you know things that you've done in the future or things you do in the future, let me know. I, I'd love to hear them. Um, and, you know, thanks for tuning in, guys. This has been my experiment with the Sonart 2000-watt uh, PA tower speakers, PA system. Uh, like I said, it is a very good PA system for announcements. Uh, I think I improved it a little bit better for music now as well, but I would still suggest running a subwoofer with them. So, once again, to end my video, experiment succeeded i think i had fun doing it i added bass to these sonarts and it was a fun little experiment so do this at your own risk be safe and uh, we'll talk to you guys later midwest raider right here on youtube thanks for tuning in what's up guys midwest raider hey i just want to make a quick update to finish my video so i played these uh these sonarts with the added subwoofer that i added <clears throat> i played them for an hour high volume high bass level like bass level almost turned all the way up and i listen to different kinds of music uh, a lot of hip-hop and stuff really bassful stuff and that amp got really really hot and it was only about an hour um, it wasn't like scorching hot but it was a lot warmer than i've ever felt it before mm. so then i you know turned it down i left the speakers on but i turned it down to half <clears throat> half bass uh, still 75 percent volume but just turn the bass down and that amp actually cooled down and it's warm but it's not hot so just take that as for you what you will that when you change components on these that you could affect that amp and you're gonna affect the life of that amp heating up and cooling down and stuff so uh, just know that do this at your own risk you are affecting components and that amp is gonna get hot <clears throat> if you run these full volume full bass for very long times I don't think it's gonna be able to take it <clears throat> but like I said running it you know not all the way maybe between 75 and and half that amp stayed way way cooler than when I was running it you know 75 and above <clears throat> so just take that note and like I said do this at your own risk I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your speaker I'm trying to give you all the warning signs uh, now in case you do try this I tried it with mine, but I'm not recommending you try it with yours unless you want to. Okay? So thanks for tuning in, Midwest Raider. And that's a quick update. Thanks for tuning in, Midwest Raider. Please like and subscribe. And I'm just trying to bring you more info. Talk to you guys later.